Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Feels like forever since I've made a video, but here's a video for you. I've been traveling a bunch over the last couple of weeks, been crazy busy, think I came down with the SHOT Show flu, I'm like fighting it off right now, so excuse me if I sound a little weird. I have so much going on and a ton of announcements, so if you're into me and the channel and all that stuff, I'll just go ahead and put them at the end. If you're just here to check out the new Pelican boxes, we're gonna get right into it. So this year at SHOT Show, SHOT Show is a big convention for the shooting and outdoor world. My truck was in the Pelican booth. So they hit me up a while back, said, hey, we're launching a new product. Can we use your truck in the booth? I said, yeah, sounds cool. I'll be there anyway. Sounds like a good fit. So it was. And so my truck was there and they launched their new line of cargo boxes. So Pelican, if you don't know who they are, they make like really durable cases used big time by like the government, you know, like they ship missiles in them and stuff. And then they're also used a lot in the tech industry for packing cameras and drones and all kinds of stuff. Rifle cases they're really famous for. They also make coolers, flashlights, bags, all kinds of phone cases, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, this year their big launch was in cargo cases for vehicles. So a lot of people have mounted Pelican cases on their vehicles all kinds of ways in the past. Pelican said, hey, how about we just make some stuff specifically for this application? So they used my truck to do the product launch at SHOT Show. So that was cool. I was at SHOT Show, I asked their lead designer if he could just kind of give me a rundown of the cases. So that's what we're gonna get into. He's gonna talk about the cases. I think they're cool. I'll probably get some at some point, but it was a good experience. We're gonna get into the SHOT Show video and then I'll talk more at the end. Here we go. We are here at the Pelican booth with my truck and Kevin Deaton, Vice President of Product Development, right? That's correct. Awesome, and he's gonna walk us through what they're launching at this SHOT Show is the new cargo system. So we're gonna cover kind of the boxes and the mounting for the most part and anything else we feel like talking about, I guess. Yeah, so um, Pelicans decided to launch a new range of eight different sizes of the cases aimed at the overlanding and outdoor market. So we've got sizes ranging from small ones that fit in the corner of pickup truck beds right through to ones that fit directly onto the roof racks um, of you know, SUVs and pickup trucks. What makes this system kind of unique compared to what's currently on the marketplace is that it's designed so there's no modification to your vehicle whatsoever. No drilling, no cutting, nothing. It's also designed with a lot of security in place. So we designed it so that you can secure the cases to the mounts, no chance of the actual cases being stolen, and you can actually lock the cases themselves. Now these mounts that we have over here allow you to fit onto the side bed of, a, of the pickup trucks, be it, uh, these fold down arms so the cases go along the length of the vehicle, or using these A-arm systems that go across to mount the cases across the vehicle. Now the one that's interested in the, kind of the overland market itself are these uh, mounts here that we've designed in uh, incorporation with Frontrunner, the guys out of South Africa. And you'll see on the truck over here, we have a system where these mounts securely place the cases right where you want them. And the ability to take them off, it's so easy. I can take those two cases off, 15 seconds a piece, 40 seconds to get them on. I'm just gonna leap up there and show you how easy it is to take it off. So we have a two-way latch here that can be held in place with this cable lock. And to simply take it off, we press down, we pull up, four of those, and you pull the whole case off. We latch it back on again, goes underneath, locks in place. So this is now securely in place. You can gain access to the contents with the thing locked in place. These mounts themselves will fit both the extruded type front runner uh, racks that we have fitted to this vehicle. But we've also got the kits that allow them to fit to the tubular racks, uh, the old school basket style runs. So we've got both of the rack styles kind of covered with that. In the back of the truck, we have a range of cases that are held in place, again, with different types of mounts. Um, these saddle cases are available in a short version, a long version, longer ones for hunting rifles, shorter ones for ARs, uh, chainsaws. The cases here at the back here, these trunk cases, are designed to fit underneath the tonneau covers, so all of these things, you can have a cover over it, keep them locked in place, and everything, say, comes off in about 15 seconds, you just pull a pin, pull a cutter, and it's removed from the vehicle. 
as with all Pelican cases, there are a lifetime guarantee. Um, the mounts are guaranteed for three years. We have a UV inhibitor to make sure the sun doesn't damage the cases. They will withstand water ingress beyond 70 miles an hour on the freeway, also dust ingress as well. And we've got a range of accessories that will be launched when we bring the case to market in April. So we're shipping in April. Most expensive one is 400 bucks, and the cheapest one is 200. The mounts from 100 to 150 a piece. So that's the new cargo system from Pelican. Cool. Uh, only main question I have is, are they gonna be up available with foam inserts, or are they just kind of do-it-yourself organization, or is there a That's a great question. So, there's no foam in these, like a traditional Pelican case, but okay. what we have designed is what I'll call like a last mile solution. We have these nylon bags we've designed, which fit into each of the cases. So, say you want to put like a kitchen inside there, mm -hmm. it's on a garage shelf, it's marked kitchen, pull it out, drop it in, nice. off you go. Okay. And then also inside these cases here, we've got tray systems here that so you can put some goods on the top, place them in the bottom. We have different size trays so they fit all the various size cases. These are all available as accessories. And one neat thing about the, um, one of the things we've done here with the latches is you can, you gain access from the top. There's no weird thing where you're putting your hands underneath here. And finally you can put a big padlock through there and lock them securely in place. Awesome. Well, I can't think of other questions off All the top right. of my head, so available in eight different size boxes, so yep. you'll find something that will fit your needs. Mount them anywhere in the bed, and adapters to fit probably most roof racks, most roof racks. out there. And this is the launch of the product on my truck. All right, Mike. Thank you very much. That Thanks was fun. excellent. Does that work for you guys? That's beautiful. Yeah. You've done this before, huh? A few times this week, yeah. Thank you. Okay, cool, hope you liked it. SHOT Show videos are not very exciting for me, like, at all. Actually, they're 0% exciting. Like, I don't watch the videos, and I don't enjoy making the videos. Having said that, I will make a couple of the videos, but it's not really, it's not what I like in my channel. It's not very exciting. Yeah, there's some new products, but I way prefer actually using the products out in the real world, like you see me do all the time. But I do want to talk about some stuff. So anyways, now we're into the now we're into the announcement section. So if all you came for those Pelican boxes, hit that thumbs up button. If you thought it was helpful, comment down below, say hey, ask questions. I'll do my best to answer them and get subscribed to the channel if you're into if you're into that truck and those cases. It's kind of what I do here. Okay, so announcements. I was at Shot Show. It's always a great time for me. Products are cool. There was a couple new new things to be excited about, but Overall, I mean, the, the industry isn't, you know, we don't have laser guns or anything yet. So there's not a whole lot of things that are like super new and exciting, but stuff still worth talking about. But I go to SHOT Show for all of my relationships. I have great relationships with all these firearms manufacturers and accessories companies. And I have a lot of really good relationships with a lot of other creatives, I guess, if you want to call them content creators. And I always make new friends when I'm there too. So. It was just a really good time to hang out. I spend most of my time with uh, Danny, Gun DMC, and Talon. So they're kind of like my crew. I'll link them down below. Go give them a follow. Cool guys. I mostly cruise with them when I'm at SHOT Show. Um, they kind of help me film some stuff. I, I help them film some stuff. But mostly we talk shop. So if you follow Talon, Talon Sai, he has a YouTube channel, kind of into similar things that I'm into, also into different things that I'm into as well. But he had a channel where he did firearm stuff and he did all his other stuff. He hit a huge hurdle and his whole channel got demonetized, got removed from the partner program, all this stuff. He's been trying to fix that for months now, removed all his gun content, made a new channel called Sunday Gun Day. Go give that a follow if you're into guns. And it's just going through this big, big hassle, big nightmare. While I was at SHOT Show, I was talking to him a lot about that. I was talking to a lot of firearms companies and their struggles with, with, with Facebook and Instagram and marketing and talking to some other creatives. And every single one of them, the firearms companies included, said, you need to separate your content into a separate channel for firearms only. So I've been thinking and wanting to do this for a while, so I'm gonna do it. So there's probably still gonna be some guns on this channel because I'm still kind of flying under the radar, 
but like my pure, pure gun content, some of the stuff that you've seen me do historically, that's all going on to a new channel, my B channel. My B channel exists, it's L-L-O-D-B right now. Very, very classy name. I'll link it up here. Go get subscribed to that channel if you wanna follow along with that journey. I need to think of a new name for it too though. So if you have any name suggestions, hit me up below. And there's all this branding stuff, what I could do, Last Line of Defense is my main channel, that's my second channel, I don't know. But plan is just to leave Last Line of Defense as my main channel because I'm really still, in everything I do, it's really preparedness centric. You are, you are your own Last Line of Defense. So I, I think I'm gonna keep my main channel that. But I am gonna start a second channel. And so for the, for the people that have all been asking me for more gun content forever, um, I think you guys are probably well aware I'm not like an anti-gun person or anything. I still run my holster business uh, at llod.us. So I'm still very pro-gun. I've just been hesitant to go full force guns on this channel because now this channel is kind of my baby and there's way more aspects to my life and the things that I enjoy than just guns. So I didn't want to sacrifice this channel to just please some people that only cared about guns. So, if you only care about guns, I have a channel coming up just for you. Probably still gonna do some gun stuff here. All gun stuff, all the time on that other channel. And stuff related to guns. So, you know, optics reviews, light reviews, and all this stuff. The reason I'm doing this is there's not really much money to be made in guns, honestly. This gun channel is not gonna make me any money. Um, because I can't link to gun affiliate links. Uh, gun companies don't really pay out much money. I don't need any more guns and I don't even want any more guns. So I'm really just doing it for like my diehard original OG gun fans and because I have all these really valuable relationships in the firearms world. I know a lot about guns. I know how to use them. I love training and I love teaching. So that channel is going to be that. So that was my big announcement. That was like my main announcement, starting a second channel, give me name suggestions, go give it a follow. I'm gonna be doing stuff there. Uh, I strengthened and reinforced a bunch of the relationships I had in the firearms community because I was kind of hesitant because people, when you're, when you're a content creator, people use you, companies use me, it's fine. They use me for my audience. They use me to sell products, I get it. It's marketing, it's modern day marketing. Granted, a lot of my videos now are just me out having a good time, showing gear in real world use, but my value to companies is in my audience. Starting a new gun channel, my audience is dropping basically back down to zero, so really they're working with me on a relational level. So the firearms that are gonna get sent to me for testing or review and the accessories and the lights and all that stuff is really founded on relationships with these companies which is what I was doing at SHOT Show. So a company likes me, they say, hey, you do a good job. Yeah, your new gun channel is not gonna have a huge audience, but we like you, we'll send you out such and such. So when you see stuff on my channel, just know that that company's you know, not getting a lot of money out of it, they just like me. So kudos to them. Okay, some other fun stuff for the overlanding type. This is like overland crowd. I was out in Johnson Valley two weeks ago testing a bunch of vehicles, something down my alley. It's a company that I can't really, well, I can talk about them, but I'm not gonna talk about them because they're not like officially launched yet. But it's a company that I've been kind of consulting with for a while. They're bringing trucks to market, but probably not like you're thinking, like I wasn't out testing the new Bronco or anything, though I saw it out there and I met some of the guys that were testing it and some of them actually recognized me. They're like, oh, you're last night of fence, I love your videos. And I was like, hey, can I see the Bronco? And they're like, yeah, sure, sign this NDA. But I couldn't because I was out there testing these other vehicles and I had to go. But I was out there testing vehicles and the vehicles are from this big company that's been in the industry for decades and they upfit vehicles. So they have relationships with the OEMs, Ford, Chrysler, GM, and they get vehicles from the manufacturer sent to their facility. They upfit them so they fix them up and then they send them to dealerships and then you can buy this upfitted vehicle from a dealership. Dealer financing, incentives, factory warranty, FMVSS certified, so crash tested, corrosion rated, all this stuff. And this brand, I worked with them some to design what I think is a perfectly built, within, you know, reasonably, overland vehicle. So these are vehicles, vehicles that you can buy off of the dealership lot 
factory warranty and take right up to the mountains and you're gonna have all your boxes checked. So they got some sliders, they got some bumpers, they got some bigger tires, they got a little quality lift, Fox lift, just like I have on my, on my Tacoma, but a little bit better actually. Good tires. And depending on, you can kind of option them out, but they have everything. It's basically like, you look at my Tacoma, how I built that thing, just like thousands of hours of research and thousands of dollars and busted knuckles installing and stripped bolts and all this stuff. You take all that out of the equation and you get one that's done by professionals, you buy it off the lot. Anyway, they reached out to me a while back, wanted to kind of get my advice on some things or my thoughts because they're building a vehicle for, for me, for my audience. So they asked what I think would be good. I told them what I think would be good and they built these trucks. So I'm really excited to tell you about that more. They're launching officially on February 15th. So I will probably upload a video on February 15th. So check back for that. Really excited about it. And then other stuff for my channel. I have so much stuff this year. So this year I'm going to be um, stepping back in some fashion from my full-time job that I've had for the last 10 years as, as a web developer, as a back-end programmer. I write code for a living 40 hours a week. It's what I do to pay the bills. The YouTube channel and my holster company and all the things that I do and all the relationships that I've built have finally got to me to a point where I'm like, I'm too busy for a full-time job. I'm pretty passionate about all this other stuff. So I'm gonna be expanding my holster business and get into more manufacturing side of things with my brother. We have a bunch of ideas for product development to design and just haven't had time. So I'm gonna be dumping a bunch of time into that side of my business. And then I'm gonna be dumping a bunch of time into, into the YouTube creative side of my business. So I'm gonna go on some big trips. Uh, going up to Alaska, maybe going down to Baja, and just, just do more. Up my production quality, learn new techniques, meet more cool people, do more collaborations. So this year, everyone says like, this year is gonna be my year. But this year is gonna be the first year that I actually put time, effort, energy, thought, and heart into YouTube and into my manufacturing business. So you can look for both of those things here and there to have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Because being basically a gear tester and product reviewer for the last several years, I've got hands on more products and more gear than uh, pretty much anybody in the world, honestly. Like I've tested a lot of stuff. And through testing, I find all the stuff that I wish I could improve, all the stuff that could be better. And a lot of times these companies they don't want to listen to me and they don't want to listen to my advice. Some of them do. A lot of companies I work with, I beta test and I make improvements. So I help deliver a better end product to you, but I don't really get paid for that. And I really don't have full creative freedom. So I'm really excited about what I'm going to get into on the manufacturing side of things. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just a lot of exciting, a lot of exciting stuff here. I was told I should say, thanks to my patrons, but I don't ever want it to sound like I'm asking you to be a patron. I have patrons, it's Patreon, it's a site that people can support what I do here uh, to allow me more creative freedom uh, and to help support me. So thank you, this is just a thank you to my existing patrons. Thank you so much for helping support the journey. Other ways you can support is like this video, comment on my videos, subscribe to my channel, become part of the notification squad, watch my videos, share them with your friends, tell, tell buddies about them. If they got a Tacoma, say, hey, follow this guy, he's got a ton of great ideas. If they're getting into overlanding or whatever, hey, follow this guy, he's got a, he's got a bunch of great ideas. Um, so that's obviously one way that's just hugely beneficial for us YouTube people. Also, as often as possible, I link all the stuff I use down in the video description. As often as possible, those are affiliate links, which means I make a tiny little percentage based off of the sales that are tracked through that link. So anytime you shop for anything, just click my links. I've worked really hard to develop a network of companies that have given me coupon codes. So chances are a lot of sites you can type in LLOD at checkout and that will apply a coupon code. Some just give you a discount, some are tracked and they're like tracked through an affiliate network and I make a little percentage of the sales. So using that benefits both of us. So yeah. 
Follow my second channel for all the gun stuff you could ever want. Comment down below also. I love to hear it, and this is a big part of my channel, the direction of my channel, the videos I make, the content I produce. A lot of it is driven by you guys, so I always like you to comment down below. Let me know what you like, let me know what you hate, let me know what you wanna see, products you wanna see, trips you wanna see, collabs you wanna see, the style of videos you wanna see. I read all of my comments, honestly, all of them. I don't have time to reply to all of them usually, but I read them all and I try to reply to a lot of them. So comments are always appreciated. Just let me know what's on your mind. And yeah, I think that's it. Huge thanks to Pelkin for having me at the booth. Thank you guys for watching. If you're a company and you ever wanna work with me, shoot me an email at mike at llod.us. If you think there's a good collaboration opportunity or you want my truck in your booth or whatever, hit me up. Thank you so much for watching. Truly, truly, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I wouldn't be making videos if it wasn't for you, honestly. So thanks. All right, take care.